Konnichiwa. My name is Cheryl and I'm with the Branch District Library and today I wanted to teach you a little bit about the Japanese writing system and also a little bit of pronunciation. And first I wanted to start with pronunciation. In English we have five vowel sounds A, E, I, O, U and I'd like you to take your two fingers and put them gently on your throat and feel it as you say A E I O U and feel how your mouth moves and how you breathe. Now Japanese also has five vowel sounds but you're going to sound very different in them and instead of our open A E I O U you're going to do it sharp and short, and you're going to go from the back of your throat. So let's start. I want you to say, ah, ah, e, e, u, u, a, a, o, o. So let's do it one more time, this time with your fingers, and I think you'll feel the difference. Let's do it. A, I, U, E, O. And two things to remember. Sharp, short sounds, and a small mouth. <laughs> so one more time. A, I, U, E, O. Good. All right. Now, there's one more sound I want to introduce you to. And it's the sound N. Mm or sometimes mm, but usually mm. and you're gonna it's like our n but you're gonna want to put your tongue behind your front teeth up on the roof of your mouth and mm. so remember we've got a e u e o and mm, mm. and believe it or not if you can master those sounds you are able to pronounce more than half of the Japanese language. Everything is based on those sounds. It goes a i u e o, kakiku keko, nani nu ne no, and you'll get the idea. You get the idea. And these uh, these are all the building blocks of Japanese pronunciation. All right. And this is what we're going to learn to write today. We're going to learn a i U, A, and O. And now Japanese has three writing systems. And if you can look over here, this is where my very talented nephew has written what's called kanji. And that is what Japanese copied from the Chinese. And it's all the fancy characters. The thing about this is they can have different meanings and totally different pronunciations. What we're going to learn today is called hiragana, and this is the first language that Japanese children learn when they're growing up. Now there is one, or first writing system, one other writing system is called katakana, and it's often used for foreign words. I wrote down the word hanbaga. And I'm thinking you can understand what that means. But they use it for country names, city names, borrowed words, uh, especially with technology. And, but this is the most useful one. And so we're going to start with this today. Okay, so we're going to begin. And now to me, um, hiragana is a little bit like our cursive. It's going to have a bit of a flow to it. And the two points to remember, you're going to want to go from left to right and top to bottom. And apologies, I am no professional at this, but I will do my best. So let's begin with A. Uh. We're going to do three strokes. So we're going to go across, down with the curve, and make a little loop. So we're going to go across and down and then our little loop like that. So 
So across, down, and a little bit of a loop. And that's our up. So next is E. And now E looks very simple. It looks like our parentheses. But you have to remember to put them on a little bit of a tilt. And one thing I forgot to say, the reason I drew these boxes is to help you keep your, um, your comma, your, your characters centered. So here we're going to do E. And everybody thinks it's easy because it looks like our parentheses. It's on a little bit of a tilt. So here we go. And this is just two strokes. And there you go. And there's your E. So just one and one. And, and the next one is oop. Again, two strokes, but it's kind of a flowy one. Uh, again, remember if you've ever learned to write cursive, your hand is going to want to flow like that. And so we're going to do the top one first, and then the bottom one. So left to right, left to right, up to down. And then the next A, which is fun to write, I think, um, it's going to look kind of like a Z with a little bit of a tail at the end. And this one, again, is just two strokes. But you're going to start with the top. And then you're going to make a little flowy thing. And there you go. So just one stroke. And then almost like a Z, but on a little bit of a slant. And then that flowy tail at the end. And then there's our O. And this one has three strokes. So we're going to start with the horizontal. You're going to go like this. And again, it's another kind of little, almost like cursive, flowing thing. And that little mark at the side. And one of my problems, I always put the sky too close to here. But there is space. And again, that's why it's nice to have this box format. And I wanted to let you know, uh, if you go online, there are a lot of websites where you can print off pages. If you're interested in learning more, make sure you get the free ones. And I think this, uh, this really helps ground you in getting the proportions right. Um, well, thank you for joining me today. And I hope you had fun and learned something interesting. And uh, we will talk to you next time. Sayonara, arigato, and kiotsukete. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.